went long. We're going to do a, a, another coordination exercise. Here's middle C. I want you to put your thumb on G. And we're going to get this position here. G, A, C, E flat. In fact, I want you to go... And then lift your hand, come back down here to this position. You can find this position easy by pointing to the G, E, A, C, they fall into place. See how they fall into place. So you're gonna go here, and then you're gonna go there. When we go to the F, you go to here. The same thing, just with the thumb on E flat instead of E natural. When we go to the G, go to that G seventh right there. You can find it easy by pointing to the G, the thumb falls on F, B, and D. Now we're gonna put that together with this left hand and it's gonna sound like this. Let's review that. We start out here. When this comes to E natural, the right hand. to the F. A natural, the right hand. E natural, right hand. Now when we go to the G, probably noticed on the last part of that we didn't go G to the F to the C. No, we stayed on G. Sometimes boogie woogie artists do that. That goes all the way back to the 30s and 40s. Frequently we go F C. But a lot of times we just go G C. Anyway, let's try this again. And you can scrape off the A flat to the E natural too. That's a nice touch. Of that comes down on the E. That hits on the A natural. Another thing boogie woogie artists sometimes do is they uh, they'll come they'll go, go and then at the end of the progression they go to the or to the G seventh, but sometimes they don't. Sometimes they just stay on the C like this. Right here, stay there. So there's none of this. That's called a turnaround. And there's no turnaround to, to set up the next 12 bars. Uh, 
So here we're on C like normal. We go to F like normal. We go to C like normal. Now we stay on the G. And we stay on the C. And then we begin. See how that is? Shake it. Thank you. Take care.